My name is Betsy Finch. I'm the director of Raptor Conservation Alliance. It's a new organization with old, um, with lots of experience. It used to be called Raptor Recovery Nebraska, and we started in 1976 as a program under Wachuska Audubon out of Lincoln. It's grown and grown, and, and uh, it's come to this point now to where last year we got in a record 664 raptors. We just work with raptors or birds of prey and um, try to release as many as possible. They're kind of, uh, there's a mystique about them. They're at the top of the food chain and uh, things that um, happen to them are probably happening further down the food chain as well. Um, habitat destruction is a, is a big problem. Oh, no, that's just some stuff. But, you know, once we get them back outside, they get wild pretty quick. The eagle came in from the Emerson Wayne area. He was uh, brought in to us by uh, one of the game wardens. He had been caught in a jaw trap. And trapping is legal in Nebraska, but they have to use scent bait instead of sight bait. Just checking to make sure that things are healing, that it, it doesn't look worse, and you know, in other words, or that the entire foot doesn't turn black, which can happen if the bird has been in a trap for too long and the blood supply has been cut off. A week down the road, the whole foot will turn black and die. Uh, and that's why trap injuries are really serious. Sometimes people catch a hawk and just let it go. And you know, they, they really need to, need attention. They need medical attention on injuries like that. He's fully flighted, so it shouldn't take long after that once the leg is healed. We have big flight pens that we put them in, and that's where they get their strength back and exercise. So when he's in there eating and flying really well, it's 120 feet long, um, then he'll be good to go.